Do you want to be able to customize the praise badges in Microsoft Teams so that they're in line with your company values and behaviors? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. So today I want to talk all about the praise app in Teams. Now we all love getting praise and we all love giving praise and praise within Microsoft Teams is a great way to do this. But lots of my customers ask how they can personalize the badges so that it lines up with their company values, the behaviors they're trying to promote um, and it's just kind of a little bit more on message for their organization. Well the great news is that you can now do that in Microsoft Teams and it's really easy to do that. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually upload and create your own badges but also show you how you can design them really quickly and easily using PowerPoint so that they are in line with the badges that you've already got and have that consistent look and feel. So let's have a look and see what we're talking about here. So here I am in Teams. So just to kind of demo it, so I'm just going to praise someone. So I'm going to praise someone within my team. So let's praise Miriam. Um, and I'm going to say awesome job on the big Contoso sales win. Great, and we can preview that, send that off, and then that goes into the team. Everybody else can like and comment on it. They can all pile in and say, well, what a great job Miriam has done. But as I say, lots of customers want to be able to customize that and add their own. So really easy to do. So you do need to have Teams admin, right? So you'll need to go into the admin center and then go into the, uh, the Teams admin center, go to Teams apps, and then go to Manage apps. Now you search for Praise here and you'll get this praise app here. So within here, you can do things like switch it off, but that's not what we want to do. But here in settings, you've got the different options. So we can completely switch off the default badges altogether. So you can completely start with uh, from scratch, or you can use those default badges as your starting point there. There's uh, another set of badges, which are around social and emotional learning, but this is targeted more at school. So we're not gonna cover that today, but it's this one here where you can upload your own badges. So if I click create a custom badge, then we can do things like create the name, upload the file, etc., and pick some of those colors. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to create the green thinker badge. There we go. Uh, and this is going to be for uh, our team members who do something around our sustainability uh, initiatives. So what I'm going to do is create this badge from scratch within uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. And I want it to really kind of fit in with this look and theme here. So I'm going to be using a free icon site. So this one is flaticon.com, but you could use loads and loads of different ones. The thing to be key to look out for is the attribution there, because uh, if you don't pay for the images, then normally you have to uh, give credit to the badge designer or the icon designer. And these pages on here will tell you how they can do that. Um, so probably within your organization, you might want to do something like um, set up a page within your HR portal that says what the badges and the values are and then give credit to the artists through that. So I'm going to look here and I'm going to look for something on the environment. Okay, and there's this lovely badge here. So I'm going to click, I like this one uh, with the earth and the, and the leaves and stuff around it. And I'm going to download the PNG, the transparent PNG. So it'll give me the image and it'll be transparent in the background. And here on this site, I can choose which size. So I'm going to get it nice and big. So I'm going to pull down the 512 pixel version. And it does say here, remember that you have to give attribution and credit to the uh, to the badge artist. So uh, make sure that you do that if you're using this. Mine is obviously from FreePick, uh, and uh, and we'll call that out on the text at the end of this video. So uh, so here's my my thing. So I'm going to go to now over to PowerPoint. So here is PowerPoint. Let's just drag that across there. Okay. And so uh, a lot of the badges that um, we have here in Teams, and let's just pull that back up again so we can see that they are round. And actually what you can see here, if we just zoom right in a bit, is we can see that a lot of the badges have actually got something that breaks that circle. So you can just see here that the horn just slightly breaks the circle. Um, so that's quite a common design feature. Um, that we have here. So that's something that we're going to try and uh, kind of copy within PowerPoint. So first thing I'm going to do is get a circle. So if I hold down shift when I draw the circle, it'll make sure that it is a proper circle and not 
a wonky circle. There it is. I'm going to do it nice and big. And I'm going to um, just get rid of the outline off the edge because PowerPoint will add an outline automatically. And I'm going to just use this light green color here as my background. OK, so then what I've got then is I can find my picture in my in my downloads and I can just drag that in and drop that into PowerPoint. Here it is. And we can resize this. Now, as I say, if you look on that unicorn badge, it does slightly break out the circle. So what we're going to do here with our green thinker badge is have the earth in the middle. I might just nudge that up a little bit. There we go. Have the earth in the middle, um, but the, our leaf just breaks out of the circle there. OK, so I think we're happy with that. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything, right click, and I'm going to go save as picture. And then on my desktop, I'm going to call this green thinker. There it is. And I'm going to save that. Now, that badge does need to be a certain size. So when we look on the manage app thing here, where it says upload a file, there's an info button here. And it says that it needs to be 216 by 216 pixels as our maximum. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to so here on my in my folder, I've got my badge. So I'm just going to open it up here. Uh, there we go. So there's my badge and I'm going to actually just I'm just going to edit it with paint, paint 3D. So that's obviously included as part of Windows 10. You might have your own image editor. The important thing is to make sure that it maintains the transparency around the edge there. So all I'm going to do in paint 3D is click on canvas. Go here and I'm going to stick in 216 as the width and the height. There it is. And I'm just going to menu and save. Perfect. And that should be ready to go here. So now if I pop back to Teams, I've got my green thinker title. I'm going to upload a file. OK. And in my Teams badges, there's my green, uh, my green thinker badge. OK, so the next thing that we want to do here is uh, have the text color and the background color. So uh, if we look here on to our, um, our team, so let's just zoom back in here. Uh, you can see here that we've got this background color here and then we've got our text color um, there as well. So uh, let's just come out of that. So the easiest thing you need to do, because this here needs um, some colors uh, these hex color references. So the easiest thing to do here is to just pop back to our friend PowerPoint. OK, and I'm just going to stick in a rectangle here. OK, I'm just get, get rid of the outline and I'm going to pick my background color. And if I just send this to back, OK, just I'll make it really big. And I can see here that that green, we've kind of lost some of the edging of the leaf there. So what I'm just going to do is tweak that, go to more fill colors and go and just pick maybe like a deeper green. There we go. And we can see now that that leaf just pops out on the edge. But on that color there, when we're on more fill colors, we can see down here, we've got something that says hex and there's this hex reference here. So that's what we're gonna copy. I'm gonna copy that. There we go. And I'm gonna pop back to my teams and that's gonna be my background color value. So I'm just gonna paste that into there. And then the other one is the text color. So that's the text that goes here on this badge here that says awesome. And again, I'm going to pull this out of uh, out of team uh, out of PowerPoint rather. And I've got this green circle here. So if I go onto my green circle and I'm just going to go format shape. There we go. And where we've got the color palette, go more colors. And this will give me that green. And we can see again the value for that. So I'm just going to copy that hex value for that. And I'm going to paste that in as my text color. Perfect. So um, the next thing you can do is actually look at uh, the badge um, names. So here we've got localized badge name and we've got another one that says exclude badge from these locales. So it might be that you want to translate the badge name Green Thinker into different languages if you're uh, operating across multiple geographies, or it might be that certain behaviors are only uh, shown in certain countries or different countries within your organization have different reward systems, etc. So what we could do is we could say, well, actually, you know, in localized badge name, what I'm going to do is pick the language. So I'm going to say, 
if we were doing uh, kind of Spanish, okay, uh, then we were going to uh, translate it and we put the translation in there. But what we might say is actually we don't want that badge to be shown in Mexico, for instance, because uh, we don't have the same system there or whatever. So what you can do then is go here and again, I'm just picking Mexico because we were on the Spanish one. So I can go here and say that we're going to exclude that from that language in that region. So let me just get rid of both of those for the moment and then they'll just be shown everywhere with the green thinker label. So then all I need to do is click apply, pop down here and hit the submit button. OK, so this then will then come in. Now, it does say up here that your app settings were updated. It might give you a warning that it takes a few hours. It actually, for me, it always came through pretty quickly here. So if I just, uh, I think if I click on this, there we go. You can see that we've already got that green thinker badge. Um, and just the way that it's displayed, it fits nicely in with all of those others. You can see the lion's mane just slightly out there, the cloud slightly out, etc. So just having it fall just slightly out the side of that works just perfectly. So I'm going to award my green thinker and I'm going to do it for Nesta. Here he is. And I'm going to say great work on leading the sustainability initiative uh, for our data centers there we go and click preview there we go and you can see there if i hit send it fits in in the same way there looks exactly the same so it's all on brand all on message uh, and and is a great job so there you go hopefully that's something that you could find really really useful uh, it's certainly something that a lot of my customers ask for more information about how they can customize those praise uh, praise badges. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, just a reminder, I do content uh, at least once a week on my YouTube channel and LinkedIn. Just these kind of tips videos here. Try to do tips on Tuesdays and on Fridays at 12.30 GMT, I do a lunch and learn live. So uh, all you need to do to get to that is go to youtube.com forward slash productivity coach and click uh, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get told when a live uh, lunch and learn live session is starting. So as I say, hope you find this useful. Please share it with other people within your organization, uh, share it with your HR teams, your rewards teams, so they can customize the praise badges and really make it work for you. So thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.